Hey there, are you looking to add your web pages to your big commerce menu? Can't figure out where to do it? You're in luck. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Before we get started, my name's Cal. I'm a developer. I am a store owner just like you, and I run the e-commerce growth community for store owners just like you and me. Every week I post more e-commerce videos, so if you do find this one helpful, subscribe and hit the bell. All right. Let me show you where to go. Now I'm going to show you within the context of the cornerstone theme. Most of you guys are running it anyway. And uh, if you're on a different theme, it may be the same, it may be different, but you know, it's, it's probably going to be something fairly similar to this. So this is a uh, big commerce, uh, just a sandbox store that I have. And you can see that I have web pages here in the back end, and you need to mark these as visible if you want them to show up. So, we should be seeing about us, contact us, and blog, because those are all marked visible under storefront web pages. We have other pages that are not marked visible, but these ones should be showing up. And if we look back in the front end, we notice that they're not there. So this is a quick and easy fix. This is actually just a cornerstone setting. This isn't something that you need any code for. Um, so this is always the first place to check. And if it still doesn't work after this, you might need a developer. But let's go to the theme setting. So we go to themes and customize. And when you click into the customizer, it brings you into the page builder section here initially. But there's this button right over here. If you can see my mouse that says theme styles. And if we click in there, it's got a bunch of old school settings where you can set things. And we are looking for within header and footer a, a toggle here that says hide links to web pages. And if I untoggle that, you can see that now our missing menu items are now in the menu. So you do want to make sure that you hit publish just to make it go live on your store. <clears throat> And then it could take you know a couple seconds or up to a minute or two for that change to actually go live. So if you just go to the front end and refresh it a couple times, you'll see that they show up after just a couple minutes. So hopefully this was a quick fix for you guys and hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, hit the like button and be sure to join our community. I have uh, store owners, like I said, at joinecommercegrow.com. Thanks a lot and I'll see you guys on the next one.